friends in my last video i discussed regarding the implementation of the virtualization uh, in that i have discussed the five different levels that is the isa level hal level os level then the uh, api level user api and then above that you have the application level now in this video let us uh, discuss what are the virtualization architectures there are two basic architectures so to watch this and to understand this what are the basic architectures in uh, virtualization in cloud computing stay tuned to my video this is ranjiraj and you are streaming on the study beast so uh, in this video we will be discussing mainly regarding the virtualization architecture so there are basically two types of architectures in virtualization for cloud computing that is one is the hosted architecture and another one is the bare metal architecture so for time being uh, in this video i'll be discussing regarding only the hosted architecture in my next video i'll be covering regarding the bare metal so first of all uh, for creating the virtualization or for the process of virtualization you need to have a software first of all which is called as a vmm that is the virtual machine monitor and in uh, windows it is called as the hypervisor and in windows also you can find in the settings uh, when you search you can find uh, microsoft windows hyper v so that is the main hypervisor used for windows so uh these are the things that is the vmm and the hypervisors are required mainly for doing the virtualization kind of stuff in cloud computing so first of all let us understand this architecture so in this hosted architecture mainly what is the hosted meaning it uh, means like you have a host os and on top of that you have all the vms and the applications running so uh, just this simple diagram you have the virtualization architecture that is the hosted virtualization in that you have different different vms that is the virtual machines and since each of these virtual machines can access any of these applications simultaneously or at any time so that's like the entire uh, system that is the hosted virtualization now uh, here you have the virtual machine monitor that is the vmm and through the vmm you access this virtual machines and finally you access the application now uh, there is a shared hardware which consists of a limited amount of io devices and many other kind of stuff cpu devices bus io memory etc etc and between this virtual machine monitor vmm and the shared hardware lies a host os now this host os is the intermediate which serves between all the calls and the interrupts or uh, what you can say the privileged instructions are handled by the host os so that uh, a uh, os would be running in each of this that is the guest os so you can run any number of guest os on this host os so that is the main advantage of this that is the hosted virtualization means you have a physical machine that is the host os a host machine on that you will be accessing many many kinds of guest machines or the guest os that is you can run any number of guest os on the host os with the help of this vmm that is the virtual machine monitor now uh, in this kind of architecture the hosted architecture the main disadvantage is that you have only a limited access to the io devices and only up to uh, certain definite io devices like you can access only uh, generic devices like you have the cd rom or if you have the any other floppy disk or the nic that is the network interface card you can access only those and there is no uh, separate provision for any other non generic devices like uh, you cannot access any external hard disk or hard drive or you cannot access any usb uh, like kind of universal serials serials bus kind of uh, devices and if you want to access such kind of devices uh, you need to have a pass through facility or the pass through mechanism which enables individual virtual machines that is each of these to access the usb devices directly means at one of a time Uh, each of these VMs can access those uh, USB devices uh, like more in a more efficient manner. Now, uh, since this architecture has a lot many problems uh, dealing with the I/O devices, so it needs to have a large number of software companies to deal with or to support those I/O access. Now, there is an example of this that uh, in uh, Windows you use the VMware. So that VMware basically uses two levels of uh, VM that is the virtual machine monitor. Uh, in the first stage it installs all the drivers and sends all the interrupts and calls to these drivers then finally this driver sends the uh, its output to the vm app and then from the vm app the io request is sent for the guest os to process any further activity now uh, this is only the advantage of this that is the point one and rest of this is the uh, disadvantage of this so uh, this is not uh, advised to uh, use for virtualization and so we move to the bare metal architecture so 
uh, that is the more uh, advanced and that is the uh, most stable version of this virtualization architecture now uh, mainly in this you cannot support any rtos that is the real time operating system activity to do in this obviously if any mission critical activities are there and if you don't have any uh, like a full fledged access for the io devices then uh, that would cause a bottleneck and problem so this is not uh, well advised for any virtualization architecture and so we move on to the bare metal which is the advanced and the more stable version of this so that was all about the hosted architecture for the virtualization in cloud computing so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video